Today we are going to attempt to make some cream cheese with some half and half. We were lucky to get this um, half and half for free, so it's uh, not costing us anything. A friend of ours unfortunately had his um, restaurant go out of business temporarily, so we had to help him clean out his walk-in, so half and half was one of the things that we got from the walk-in, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make some cream cheese and see see how that goes. All you need is the cream cheese starter or a mesophilic starter, a butter muslin cheesecloth strainer, a bowl, and you just warm it up to 86 degrees, add your culture, let it sit for 12 hours. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so we got it up to 86 degrees. Remember that it's in a stainless steel pot. I'm going to go ahead and add my packet of culture, stir it in, set it aside at room temperature for 12 hours. In that time, it will congeal and firm up and look like yogurt almost. And then after that 12 hours, I will pour it into my double lined butter muslin or cheesecloth, really tight weaved. Um, so you can use this cheesecloth and strain it out and then you tie the cheesecloth up and hang it from somewhere at room temperature still for 6 to 12 hours and in that time it should firm up to the perfect cream cheese consistency. Alright, it's like the middle of the night and we are working on the next step which is taking the cream and putting it into the cheesecloth that really worked I'm gonna tie this cheesecloth up and I'm gonna hang it from something so that it can strain properly and that is going to make our cream cheese in 12 hours or 6 to 12 hours so basically when I get up I'm going to check on it it should be good how exciting is that? good night y'all okay we got it hanging so 6 to 12 hours from now that will be the most divine cream cheese we ever ate well not really most divine because it's just from store bought half and half but if we made it from our own goat cream, that would be pretty dang awesome. But this is going to be really good, better than store bought. So we're really excited about that. And I have some bagels ready to go. Going to eat some bagels and cream cheese. What up? All right. So um, last night we let the cream cheese drain overnight over a strainer and hung from a one of the cabinets and this morning when I got up I scraped the cream cheese out of the cheesecloth and into a container and mixed some salt into it and now we are making bagels and we're gonna have some bagels and cream cheese yummy yummy look at this it's so creamy this is after being refrigerated it, it got to a nice very nice texture um, and it's delicious. Can't wait to spread that on my bagel. My toaster oven is slow. I wanted to hurry up. I want to eat it now. Yum. Don't judge me. That's not a lot of cream cheese. Not when it's homemade, right? I get to eat more when it's homemade, right? I wish y'all could taste this. This is so good. Mmm. 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 What's that? Is that good cream cheese? Mmm. What about you, Rowan? You love it? Yeah.